Now, two pounds and 86 pence, that's all Gary has left in the bank. As the cold weather bites, more and more of us are feeling the pressure of managing soaring costs of food and energy bills. Well, tonight, as many like Gary struggle, we also report on fears that people are now risking their lives in efforts to keep warm. Here's our health correspondent, Sharon Barber. Luckily for Gary from Gateshead, playing music is free. He works in security, but his pay barely covers his rising living costs, and he has little money left to heat his home or eat. On food itself, 20 to 30 pound. Now I'm literally having to buy those 30 pence loaves of bread, and they're not very nice. And the spaghetti hoops, which are 16 pence, central heating is rarely on. I sleep in here because it's the one room that I can't try and keep warm by closing the curtains. And what I do is I use the dehumidifier just to try and keep the place a little bit warmer than it should be. But these homes, they're old homes and it does get really cold. So what I tend to do is I'll sleep on the sofa here with my duvet on and that's how I essentially keep warm. As for Gary's savings. <laughs> I looked at about half an hour ago and had about £2.86 in. Gary's not alone. There are free warm spaces for those struggling with heating, like this one at Gateshead Library, and staff here can also give advice. And there are food banks, but for men like Gary, using those is too embarrassing. What I've done is I've asked my brother, who lives near a local Salvation Army Centre, to go down on my behalf. And this is the reality for a lot of people who are struggling, and things just seem to be spiralling out of control. It's it's hard. But as he gets ready to sleep another night on the sofa, this is a bleak portrait of life for the many struggling to make ends meet today. Sharon Barber, BBC Look North.